three men of a particular denomination wanted to convince Don Bosco about the errors they find in the Catholic teachings. One of them, Millie, was a minister. So the three of them arrived at Valdocco at the oratory. After the customary greetings they immediately presented an argument which lasted from 11 in the morning to 6 in the evening. The discussion was on dogmas and the existence of purgatory. Don Bosco proved his argument from history and from the Latin text. The minister Milly refused to give up and objected saying, Don Bosco the Latin text is not sufficient to prove your argument. Refer to the original Greek text and check. Don Bosco arose, went to his bookshelves, took out a copy of the Bible in Greek and handed it to the minister Milly. Minister please check this Greek Bible. It proves my point. Milly did not know a word of Greek but he did not want to admit his ignorance. He began browsing through the Greek Bible as if we were searching for a passage. Don Bosco was watching and smiling. Gently he told him. Pardon me minister. You will never find the quotation that way, because you are holding the book upside down. Turn it the other way please. You can imagine the minister's embarrassment. Turning as red as a lobster he flung the book and all three walked away. Arguments did not work, so later on they resorted to other ways like threats. But Don Bosco was committed to the church and in his job of saving souls. Please let me make something beautiful A thing that reminds us there's good in the world A thing that reminds us there's still something out there worth fighting for Cause it feels like the world has gone crazy Spending faster and cheaper than ever before And it feels like there's nobody caring at all That it's getting worse Let it be something Podcast for 20th January by Father Leon Cruz from Don Bosco Youth Services, Mumbai.